What's up guys, Ken Sean from No Man Walks Alone here. Uh, and we got our first drop from Schneider. We're gonna have uh, a little bit more coming actually. Um, but let's just kick it off with this first drop. First piece off we have. Uh, it's a polo you guys have seen before. We've carried, uh, I think it was called the Canasta Polo. Um, and this one just is great. We love polos. I love uh, Schneider polos because they're actually like a little bit shorter in the body. I think it's just because of the ribbing here. We have it in this like kind of cementy gray like putty color uh but you also have like the the streaks of like khaki going on in here as well uh the knit is also very unique schneider kind of like it's, his knit program is is crazy because on the inside you got a completely different color and it's like you can you can kind of see my, my fingers a little bit it's just like very airy very breathable um kind of almost looks like a like a kooji kind of knit you know from back in the day um, I am wearing the putty color here. I think this is a size seven. Um, you guys can see it's a little shorter. I could fit into a six, it might be a little small, but um, it's all good. Very, very breathable. Uh, we also have this lovely, lovely navy blue uh, with this uh, beautiful uh, flex of like teal um, going through uh, with the uh, uh, vertical striping. And on the underside, if you, if you guys care, it's like this nice, cool, bright blue. Just something nice to look at. When you're putting on the polo next up we have the woven polo uh he typically does like really cool like exploded uh like checks this one is kind of just like really thick blocky uh stripes done in a popover design uh the fabric is a cotton broadcloth uh so it's gonna be super airy um and light very easy to toss on just like in the hottest of weather 90 degree plus you're you're chilling in this for sure um Pretty, uh, pretty extended placket. You got the three uh, buttons here and a nice little pleat at the bottom just for some shape. Um, plain back. Uh, I should also mention uh, sizing. You may, uh, you could take your true size. Um, the sizing for Schneider typically go from four to seven. Four being a small, seven being an XL. Uh, you could take your true size. If you are a taller gentleman, you probably want to size up um, just because the length is a little short. It runs a little bit boxy in that way. Um, and for this one, you can definitely go true to size. It'll be um, nice and flowy enough for you. Um, and this one, I believe, also 100% cotton. Just, just to let you guys know. Uh, next up, we have this beautiful uh, teal sweater. Typically, in I think our Schneider collections, we don't have like colors that are like too too bright, or at least from the knitwear in uh, spring summer. Um, this one's crazy. This one's like this really beautiful aqua blue um, done with these uh, vertical stripes, more vertical stripes, uh, in uh, uh, just like a white, not even like a cream, just really nice white. And it just blends really, really great together with this cardigan. Um, the cardigan makeup is cotton, mohair, nylon, and wool. Don't let that fool you. It's not gonna be like super duper warm. This is like really, really clean on the, uh, it feels really good on the skin um, and it'll still be uh, pretty nice to layer with. You know, just layer this over a tee, layer it over a, a tank. Um, and you're good to go. Of course, you see the, the like hair coming off, um, mostly from those, those stripes um, right there. Um, that just denotes the, the mohair content. And other than that, super, uh, not, not too heavyweight, not like a crazy gauge, but it does have some body. Um, definitely true to size on this. Even runs a little bit relaxed, like a cardigan uh, should. Um, so really good to layer with. Uh, you can take your, your true size. Uh, next up, we have a shirt shirt jacket that we had uh, last spring summer. Uh, last spring summer, it had uh, this nice little pocket on the front that made it look a little bit more like a jacket. But this is really still like a shirt jacket. Has this really cool camp collar with the, like nice little like notch lapel that you could just put up to make it. Oh no, you actually can't put it up. My bad. Um, that you could just leave down. Um, just wear as a collar. Um, the hem is nice and rounded. Just makes it look a little bit more like a jacket. Um, the inside as well has a cool little uh, 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 rounded detail. Uh, and you probably will recognize the uh, fabric from the inside. We had trousers um, in this fabric as well, I think last uh, spring, summer. And this time we just did the reverse. It just looks like a really cool like, you know, reverse like denim um, with done in black and like a taupe uh, color. It kind of just plays with the light, so it looks a little bit more gray. Um, really clean back as well. Wear this as like a shirt jacket. 
um, go true to size, you'll be fine. It's like already a little bit of a boxy fit. Um, we had to do the trousers because it'll make a nice little summer set. Um, and of course, Schneider trousers typically uh, will, will be uh, in an easy pants style. So it has this really nice elastic back that stretches quite a bit. So you don't have to worry too, too much about um, sizing on it um, in terms of like getting it perfect. Uh, you, if you're between sizes, probably just go down. You know, you, you, it'll stretch, it'll be fine. Um, perfect little pleat over here in the front, uh, side pockets, and the fit on this, not too slim, but not too wide, kind of like a, a little bit of a straight leg, um, not too wide, really good, still looks pretty clean, um, and this is done in the same, uh, I didn't tell you guys the fabric, I think this is a cotton linen, cotton linen hand, so, very natural, very easy, very breezy. Um, and last up, we have uh, something a little bit more hefty. Um, this one is 100% uh, cotton, but it's like a brushed twill. Um, so it feels super duper soft, a little bit more hefty. It feels almost like a cotton drill uh, done in a color very similar to the putty. It's kind of like a, like a like a putty gray. Um, and yeah, done in the same uh, shape as these pants. So it'll, uh, you could definitely go true to size uh, on this. Something to wear, not just in the spring, summer, but fall, winter as well. And now we will move on to some G and Glace and BG. Take it away, Greg. Thank you, thank you, Ken Sean. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Greg. Uh, we're going to talk about shirting and some of the great stuff we do with our friends at Inglese in Italy, in Puglia, one of the most beautiful part of Italy. If you're ever like in that region, don't hesitate. They have a little shop in Genosa, which is a kind of like a, one of the whatever tenth wonder of the, the world. If you ever get to visit that area it's absolutely incredible uh it's uh um it's uh a third generation shop maker and uh angelo is the current uh generation he's the shop maker he's got a great team and we do a lot of things with them because they are shop makers they can do whatever uh we want so we develop new styles we develop combination of styles and fabrics with them and they're always open uh and willing to uh play along which is uh, fantastic. We got a few new styles, but a lot of restocks because season after season, uh, there's really some styles that just resonate and we just keep restocking. Uh, and because we don't need to reinvent the wheel when we have a great, uh, you know, linen uh, popover shirt, we don't need to like remake it into something else when, uh, when it's already good. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the styles we have. Uh, I'm gonna point out uh, the new styles which are here, let's start with those first. Uh, so this camp color, Seersucker short sleeve shirt is something we've been doing now for three summers, I think. And it's something we really developed with uh, the guys at Inglese. Uh, we told them what we wanted to see. They applied their uh, expertise and also their uh, same desire to do something with a little bit of a vintage vibe um, because they, you know, that's also their, their aesthetic as well. And we came up with uh, these camp color shirts. Uh, the seal sucker is uh, gown dyed, uh, so we get some like very interesting like colorations. And then there's different types of seal sucker fabrics as well. Uh, so this one is um, one of the kind of a traditional like square pattern um, seal sucker. The new colorway is this like really pale banana uh, yellow. I uh, just compare that with like the restock, which was a mustard color very different yellows um this is really like ochre on a different vibe and you can also compare like two different seersuckers as well um keep in mind so um sometimes when you read the description i think we call this square seersucker just to give a, a sense that you have like little uh little checks coming through it um so um this pale yellow and this uh, what we call the ebony which is really a very 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 dark brown i don't even know if you can see the brown i can barely see it uh it's almost black and it's really really pretty uh it's great for like you know summer evenings you, you just pack that when you're going on vacation and you can use it in many different ways uh and then another like new um style from this shipment is this uh this one is actually a long sleeve like polo shirt, like a popover, whatever you want to call that, with these Miami one-piece color. 
So you get like the, the, the shape of the color there that's so, so attractive with just one button. Very pretty. And it's done in a fabric that's, you know, uh, just really engineered to look like a texture. So it has like striation and variations in the fabric that makes it really, really beautiful and just give a lot of texture to it. This one, this one is a little bit on like the, it's more of a beefy fabric. It's kind of like substantial. It's not the lightest fabric for spring, summer. And so with the long sleeve, it's something you can really wear throughout the year. Um, now, maybe I can, we'll, we're gonna walk through some of the restocks pretty quickly because I guess we've talked about them in the past. One of the styles is this uh, long sleeve polo with a what we call a grenadine uh, type uh, cotton uh, weave. Uh, and it's very similar to like grenadine ties uh, in the way the pattern of the weave is done. We've got that uh, tan color here. It's probably gonna like, so, like bum around a little bit. Uh, this kind of denim blue color. And both of those have mixed colors in it. So you can see the yarns are not uh, uniform. And then we got two that don't have like mixed colors in it. The white, that's really, really handsome. And this kind of like dark green as well. So that's a grenadine polo. Then we have like more like traditional polo shirts, again with long sleeves uh, in um, this kind of denim blue. These are actually cotton linen uh, for the season. We got this light blue, the white, and the more denim blue. Uh, and those are like traditional plackets and traditional colors, what you would expect from a long sleeve polo. Uh, going on with like the Miami color, there's a two or three uh, additional uh, styles. This one, which is a very lightweight jersey, it's very, very fine and very, very light. So that one is very summery. If you see it side by side with that one, you may think it's similar, but there's a very, very different texture and very different uh, feel. Um, then we got uh, this great guy here, which is a horizontal stripe. He really looks like a knit because uh, that jersey is just very, uh, it just has like a very dry hand to it. Uh, and then finally, we've got this like pop same color again, uh, but in a shirting fabric. And we simply took the Oxford fabric we use for the OCBD here, which is also restock, and we put it horizontally for uh, kind of a retro vibe pop over shirt. Um, so that those two. And then finally, uh, this style here, which is a full placket shirt with a camp color. So it's not like a pop over or anything like that. Uh, and it's done in that like very, very special fabric. that feels very vintage again, very retro with those like uh, woven stripe into it. Um, and then uh, one last one is, you will have more colors of that, but this, for the first drop, we only have the uh, the beige color. It's the popover and 100% linen. Two minutes. That was for Inglese. Now we also have our friends at BG in Milan, uh, who uh, sent us our assortment for the season of tie and pocket squares. I'm wearing one of the ties, uh, which is lovely. Uh, and uh, one of the pocket squares as well. The pocket squares, the three pocket squares are 100% linen. They're printed, they're all the same pattern, just different ground and colors. Uh, it's this very like floral, botanical type of like print. And you always have the rolled edge in a contrast so that when you wear it, like when the points up, then you really get the contrast like that. Uh, for the, for the uh, ties, we got uh, three uh, jacquards and two prints. Uh, the jacquards, uh, these two have those like really high contrast, like diamond patterns. Uh, and the fabric is like this, like very like Panama weave, like in you know, kind of an Oxford weave, uh, very, con uh, uh, with a lot of like uh, heft to it. Uh, two beautiful colors that are, I think, uh, excellent for, for, for spring, summer. And then this one is a little bit more of a retro vibe. It's a little bit of a lighter silk and it has those kind of like, like retro eyel, eyelet type of uh, uh, patterns to it. Uh, and then finally, we've got two um, heavyweight English printed silk in uh, two shades of blue, and both are really for any time you want. Uh, that's it for uh, this drop, and we'll see you uh, soon. Bye.